Good morning. I am Pastor Judy Cobb, a new new face in your midst, and more about that later. But now we're going to prepare ourselves for worship. As I said, I'm Pastor Judy Cobb, and um, as you know, Pastor Leslie is on parental leave. Um, I was her pastor when she was in middle school, so <laughs> that tells you that I'm old. And um, <laughs> and also, although I, I've just been explaining, I, I know I'm going to make mistakes. I know that I'm going to do things that she doesn't do it that way. I'm not doing it intentionally, but it happens. So if there's something that you see that you would like me to change, I am happy to do that. Every congregation has its own things and I just don't know them yet. So, but I do know that we will always begin with confession and forgiveness. So if you are able, please stand. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God who is eager to forgive and who loves us beyond our days. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, together let us acknowledge our failures to love this world as Jesus does. God of mercy and forgiveness, we confess that sin still has a hold on us 
We have harmed your good creation. We have failed to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with you. Turn us in a new direction. Show us the path that leads to life. Be our refuge and strength on the journey. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and friend, amen. Beloved of God, your sins are forgiven and you are made whole. God points the way to new life in Christ who meets us on the road. Journey now in God's abiding love through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, let us sing our gathering song, uh, which is Better Is One Day. Um, the words will be projected on the screen, um, as well as in both the large print and regular print bulletins. How lovely is your dwelling place. One day. 
A reading from Jeremiah. Although our iniquities testify against us, act, O Lord, for your name's sake. Our apostles indeed are many, and we have sinned against you. O hope of Israel, its savior in time of trouble. Why should you be like a stranger in the land, like a traveler turning aside for the night? Why should you be like someone confused, like a mighty warrior who cannot help give help? Yet you, O oh Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. Thus says the Lord concerning his people. Truly, they have loved to wander. They have not restrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sin. Have you completely rejected Judah? Does your heart loathe the Zion? Why have you struck up that struck us down so that there is no healing for us? We look for peace, but find no good for a time of healing. But there is terror instead. We acknowledge our wickedness, O Lord, the iniquity of our ancestors, for we have sinned against you. Do not spurn us for your name's sake. Do not dishonor your glorious throne. Remember that, remember and do not break your covenant with us. Can any idols of our nation bring rain or can the heavens give showers? It is not you, O Lord, our God. We set our hope on you for it is you who do all this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from 2 Timothy. <clears throat> as for me, I am ready, already being poured out as a liberation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that through me, the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Please rise as you are able for the singing of the gospel acclamation. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus also told this parable to come to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. 
Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves and rogues and adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven. But he was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the gospel of the Lord. So you may be seated, and I'm going to ask young people to come up and be brave, to come up to be with the new pastor.
Okay, now I've ruined my reputation. <laughs> As you heard the lessons today, you may have realized that some of them were about prayer. The gospel lesson was about prayer. Uh, but all of them were talking about what kind of person does God want me to be? There's a relationship that they're talking about in all three. And so I want to talk about um, four of the people who are mentioned in these lessons. Don't worry, that doesn't mean that it's a hugely long sermon. And uh, I'm also going to add a fifth person who is a person that I knew. And remembering that you're going to be thinking about what am I learning from this person for my life and for my praising of God. So the first person, I'm only going to tell half of her story in the beginning. Her name was Hazel. She was 96 years old. She was uh, almost blind from macular degeneration. And she had asked me to come for a visit. So I figured she was sick, she was tired, she, you know, wanted comfort. But instead, she says, you know, I've been thinking about my creative writing course. I'm like, really? You're 96. And she said, yeah, um, you see, I know I can't write. I physically write because I can't see. But the teacher has made this paper for me with big black lines so I can kind of follow it. And um, <clears throat> I decided that I would write about the effect of Hawthorne's book, The Scarlet Letter, and what it has made on my faith. And I was speechless. I could not even hardly remember The Scarlet Letter and that I'm speaking to this 96-year-old lady who wants me to reflect with her. I'll tell you the rest later. So each of these lessons today pictures a person who's expressing an understanding of who that person is and God's relation with their life. And I hear a faith statement in each one of them. Now, the first one, as you might remember, if you heard, if you were listening to the lesson, is Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is a whiner. Jeremiah is a prophet in the Old Testament. And I, Jeremiah always starts with, oh my gosh, God, things are awful, and where are you, and why are you asking me to do this? This is a Jeremiah kind of rhythm. Um, but Jeremiah is saying, we're looking for peace, but we find nothing. We're looking for healing, but there is only terror. They're probably in the midst of a drought, and God hasn't taken it away. And so there's kind of a confession. We acknowledge our wickedness. We have sinned against you. And most of that is Jeremiah's fear that God is punishing um, with a drought. But then Jeremiah comes to an understanding and an acknowledgement of God's power. And Jeremiah says, can any of the idols of the nations bring rain? God is better than the idols. Or can the heavens bring showers? Okay, here comes. It's long as you remember. Finally, we get to he, Jeremiah says, We set our home on you, for it is you who does all things. Now, this is a wonderful face statement. We, we, we do forsake you sometimes, O God, but we love you. And you are in the midst of us, and we set our hope on you. Think of this in our lives. A question is, do we set our hope on God? So the second reader is, uh, the second person in the reading is Timothy. It comes from the lesson of Timothy, 2 Timothy. It probably wasn't really written by Paul, but it's about Paul. And Paul is facing his execution in Rome. And he's upset and says, I have kept the faith, even though he's dying. And through me, 
The message of Jesus was proclaimed and even Gentiles could hear it. My life was to tell the story of Jesus' love and resurrection at all cost. And then his faith statement, the Lord stood by me and gave me strength to tell the message of Jesus, even though it was very hard. The Lord rescued me. God called me for this work. And in my dying, God saves me for the kingdom. To God be the glory. Think about your life. What is God calling you to? And are you, are we always willing to say, to God be the glory? And then we go to the two uh, people in the gospel. There's the uh, Pharisee. He is haughty and self-congratulatory. He compares himself to others and says, I am better. I am a law follower. I am a tither. I fast. And he's praying to God and telling God all the good things he does. Now, we don't like him when we hear that. But I think the truth is in my own life, I do kind of say to God, really? I do this. I go to worship. I love you. I taught my children. I went to Sunday school. And how come this is happening, God? Maybe you're like that sometimes, too. And the tax collector, like Jeremiah, is only filled with confession. Tax collectors were known for cheating. And yet, the tax collector just says, I am sorry, and I need your mercy. So, who are we? When we take the time to reflect upon the life we're living, are we haughty? Are we proclaimers? Are we humble? Are we prayers? Servers, listeners? Each one of us takes time to pray with God and ask God us to lead us. Everyone of us knows the call of our baptism. So how shall we proceed today? So Hazel said to me, I was contemplating about Hawthorne's scarlet letter. She said, I thought of the woman in the book who was told to live the rest of her life wearing a scarlet S, A, instead of just crumbling and giving up, she embroidered the most beautiful letter she could think of, and she wore that. So Hazel said, you see, that's what I believe. I've tried to make the events of my life as beautiful as I possibly could, not just for me, but for all of those around me. God has given me the strength and still does. God received my gifts and increased them. So who are we when we take the time to reflect upon the life we are living and the God we are loving? Amen. And we continue with the song of the day. Please stand in body or in spirit. I've forgotten the words that you have spoken, promises that burned within my heart have now grown dim. With a doubting heart I follow the paths of earthly wisdom. Forgive me for my unbelief, renew the fire again. Christ. 
With the whole church, let us confess our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In gratitude and humility, let us join together in prayer on behalf of all God's creation. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way God of mercy, 
You are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Inspire your church to serve and love all people with the unceasing grace you extend to us. God of mercy, O oh God of all creation, you formed a world where even the sparrow finds a home. Preserve the beauty and diversity of all creatures with whom we share the earth. Lead us to protect all living things. God of peace, you are an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Rescue families and nations torn apart by violence and welfare, warfare. Unite all people towards common goals of reconciliation and peace for every person. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide, holding me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. God of hope, you stand with the suffering and give strength. Comfort your people filled with fear or anger, anxiety or shame. Bring healing to all of those that are sick in body, mind, or spirit, especially those listed on our prayer list and those we name now aloud or silently. God of eternal life, to you be the glory forever. We give you thanks for all of those who have fought the good fight, finished the race, keep the faith, and now live with you. With grateful hearts, we commend our spoken and silent prayers to you, O God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. The peace of Christ be with you all. And also with you. Please share that peace with one another. After everybody sits down. 
as we uh, share the peace and now go toward the time for offering. We're thanking you for all the support and the mission for the church as you are able. Electronic donations can be made um, on a link, which I think that you'll see. <laughs> um, and of course, checks can also be sent to the church. And always we are grateful <clears throat> that you share what you have. At this time, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say the offering prayer. Okay. Please stand. Please stand as you're able. Let us pray. Gracious God, in your great love, you richly provide for our needs. Make of these needs, these gifts, a banquet of blessing, and make us ready to share with all in need through Jesus Christ, who sets a table for all. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy God, our bread of life, our table, and our food, you created a world in which all might be satisfied by your abundances. You dined with Abraham and Sarah, promising them life, and your people of Israel with manna from heaven. You sent your son to eat with sinners and to become food for the world. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body given for you do this for the remembrance of me again after supper he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this for the remembrance of me Remembering, therefore, his life given for us and his rising from the grave, we await the coming again to share with us the everlasting feast. By your spirit, nurture and sustain us with this meal. Strengthen us to serve all in hunger and want. And by this bread and cup, make us the body of your son. Through him, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray uh, the Jesus, on what Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Christ invites you to this table. Come, taste, and see. For those who um, are at home, the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. body of Christ given for you, the 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 body of Christ given for you. Your only son, no sin to hide, but you have sent him from your side. 
to walk upon this guilty son and to become the Lamb of God. Your gifts of love they crucified. They laughed and scorned him as he died. The humble king they named a frog and sacrificed the Lamb of God. O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. O wash me in his precious blood, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. I was so lost, I should have died, but you have brought me to your side to be led by your staff and rod and to be called a Lamb of God. O oh, Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. Wash me in his precious blood, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. O oh, Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. O oh, wash me in his precious blood, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Maybe you don't stand up. <laughs> God who gives life to all things and frees us from despair, bless you with truth and peace, and may the Holy Family, one God, guide you always in faith and hope and love. Amen. Amen. And my guess is you didn't have to stand up so you can sit down now, right, for the announcements? Is that right? <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're collecting coats for kids for two elementary schools. There's a, a box in the Norfolk, so please, we need some coats. We have quite a few now, but we would appreciate new coats or gently used coats. And the sizes are in the Norfolk, so if you need to know the sizes. So please, that's our kids that don't have coats. They will get a good job. Thank you. Uh, Kurt asked me to, uh, he's not here today, so he asked me to, uh, to remind you uh, after prayer cons prayerful consideration, uh, we still need, uh, vac we still have vacancies for the nominating committee, council, school board, um, and we will do that uh, with the annual meeting, at the annual meeting, so if you're interested uh give kurt a call or email him and he will uh 
talk to you at that time. Thanks. Uh, as we all know, Pastor Leslie's on uh, parental leave until the 17th of December. Um, this afternoon, we have at 1230 after the second service, we have uh, wrap your crap bingo, um, bring your lunch, dessert to share and have some fun and get rid of some stuff. Um, Bible study is, uh, Monday Bible study is on hiatus until uh, January 9th. Wednesday, we do have the potluck at 6.30 and Bible study at 7. Uh, Saturday, we uh, there's a blood drive uh, that starts at 9 till 1. If you'd like, you can do an appointment on the Red, Cra Red Cross um, uh, website and enter uh, Grace Lutheran as the code. Ultra Guild meeting, the coat drive that uh, Millie mentioned, and Reformation Sunday is October 30th, and you can wear red if you'd like. Uh, also, we're going to have Remember the Saints if you'd like to uh, light a candle, I believe, and then also um, bring a picture in if you'd like. Uh, are there any other announcements? Also, we have Food Pantry tomorrow, so... All of those announcements said, well, if you would like. So try to remember what we just talked about in the sermon, that God is calling us to be certain people. And uh, I don't know what your talents are, but if any of your talents matched any of those announcements, I know that you're going to raise your hand. So we continue our worship with the sending song. Is that correct? Okay, good. We continue our worship with the sending song. Please stand in body or in spirit. Let no one caught in sin remain inside the lie of inward shame, but fix our eyes upon the cross and run to him who showed great love and bled for us. Freely you've bled for us. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling over death by death. Come awake, come awake, come and rise up from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead, we are one with him again. Come awake, come awake, come and rise up from the grave. Death by death, come awake, come awake, 
come and rise up from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead. We are one with him again. Come awake, come awake, come and rise up from the grave. Oh, death, oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, hell, where is your victory? Oh, church, come stand in the light. The glory of God has defeated the night. Sing in no death, where is your sting? Oh, hell, where is your victory? Oh, church, come stand in the light. Our God is not dead, he's alive, he's alive. Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling over death by death. Come awake, come awake, come and rise up from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead, we are one with him again. Come awake, come awake, come and rise up. Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling over death by death. Come awake, come awake, come and rise up from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead, we are one with him again. Come awake, come awake, come and rise up from the grave. peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.